Hello viewers, my name is Lucius de Almeida and welcome to the CCR TV studio. Have you ever seen two people pondering over a chessboard and wondered what keeps them so deeply engrossed? Also, we keep reading in the papers of people winning titles like Grand Masters and International Masters. In our studio, we have with us someone with a similar title who is none other than Master Leon Mendonca, who has created a world record by achieving the International Masters title within a span of 17 days at a tender age of 12. A warm welcome to the CCR TV studio, Leon. Thank you very much. It is truly an honor to have you at our program today. Thanks. The viewers and me know very little about you. So could, would you like to add anything to your introduction? Yeah, sure. My name is Leon Luc Mendonca. I study in Velamal Vidyalai. I'm 13 years old and I currently live in Donapala. So you enjoy school? Yeah, I like it. Where is your school? In Chennai. So you go to Goa, Chennai? You yeah, off and on when my coaching takes place in Chennai. At that time I go there and attend school. So you practice chess there? I go for coaching like once in two months, otherwise I practice at home. How did you first get into playing chess? Basically, my actually my sister started uh, playing chess and I decided to, def I wanted to defeat her and decided to take up the game and I finally managed to defeat her and I was quite excited. So and you, you just wanted to beat her at it? Yeah, at everything she does I like to beat her. <laughs> so what does your sister have in special that you can't beat her at now? I never bothered about that. I just <laughs> wanted to beat her. At chess? Yeah. So when you first played chess, how did you feel? I didn't care about anything. I was just enjoying myself. Just enjoying yourself, yeah. enjoying the game. But then is chess a hard and complicated game? Yeah, at the top level, like it's really, really complicated. It's like a never ending learning process. So, in the chess set, which is your favourite piece? I like all pieces, no favourites. No favourites? No. Which one do you use the most to like check people or checkmate them? I try to use all. All have their specific role and function. But you have no favourites? No. And what are the major chess games that you've played? I, I've played internationally as well as nationally and of course state. I have played many tournaments outside in uh, outside India and they are quite strong tournaments, mainly open tournaments and yeah, a few change category tournaments also. So you play for Chennai? No, I, don't, I play just for my school, like in inter-school okay. tournaments and things. Inter-school like tournaments. And how was the nationals? How did it go? For the, t uh, for the school, we always win, like for the past three years I've been playing and uh, we've so always So your won. school is specialised in chess? Or no, you just are, have a good tutor there? There are other, no, no, there are a few kids good like me and we are quite a strong team so we just win every time. <laughs> Can you list out your achievements for us? I started by winning the a medal at uh, Durban, South Africa. It was a world youth event in the under 8 category and that was my first good achievement and I was quite proud of it and I've won many trophies along the way. My latest uh, achievement is getting my IM international ma master title which is also called IM within a span of 17 days and that's currently a world record. That's currently a world record. Yeah. So you hold an international world record of getting that in 17 days. Yes. And was that hard? Okay, like I said, I just enjoyed the game and it just came to me. It just came to you. If you want to get that, it will not come to you. You just have to play well and concentrate on the game rather than anything else. About this game chess, like do you need to practice or is it all in the brain? No, you need to practice quite a lot. It's like a big study itself. And what do you practice? Do you learn tricks or you just keep on playing games? I do both. Mainly I learn tricks and improve my game like that. Then to test myself like I play online, there are several websites. So, so how do you like learning in Chennai? Do you enjoy the teaching over, done over there? I just go there so that my coach like guides me and tells me what to work on and yeah, he basically just guides me along. Have you attended any workshops? 
he uh, he quite frequently organizes camps like they are like five days to a week and yeah that's quite beneficial so do you credit him the most for your chess talent i've had quite a few coaches along uh, like for different levels i started with the swamis in goa itself then i went on to mr swapnil hobley and dr peter carvalho then i moved on to mr akash takur in nagpur because i improved and then i went on to gm rb ramesh that's grandmaster rb ramesh and now i'm currently under grandmaster vishnu prasad okay so you got trained by two grandmasters yes grandmasters is a big big achievement in chess yeah it's a big achievement it's a good achievement so what are your views about the game like what angle do you look at it and say chess is the game i play okay i like chess i enjoy chess the objective is just to capture the opponent's king and whoever's a better player can capture the opponent's king yeah so so do you relate like, that to real life do you relate chess to real to real life chess helps in concentration focus and that also helps in studies my uh, my academics and that's quite a good asset has it created an effect on you chess is what i am today like it has molded me in what i am my chess defines you yeah <laughs> what do you love the most about chess i just like the game it's you just like the game like, like every single part of it yeah well has god played a role in your chess talent i can never stop thanking god he has blessed me so much for all my achievements till date and for everything yeah now if i were to become a great chess player like you give me some advice okay first you need to enjoy the game you need to like have passion for the game mm-hmm. you need to work hard <laughs> and you need to be sincere and yeah keep going don't give up keep going forward yeah if you are really serious about it then you have to do you read any chess books it's part of chess study so i read a lot of chess books mm. can you name some famous chess books okay right now i am reading python strategy by tigran petroshan who's also a former world champion like in the 1970s he was quite strong um, life and games of mikhail tal who was also at that time a former world champion during that time botvinnik's best games he's also a world champion of that time then i've also read my great predecessors by gary kasparov who was a legend a legend yeah he was like ruling the world for 20 are years are you inspired by these people yeah very much i like their books have uh, really helped me a lot do you want to be like them i want to be myself you want to be yourself yeah. you want to be chess yeah but chess is an indo game so i want to this is a question i've been waiting to ask you do you have to keep yourself physically fit if i'm physically fit i'm mentally fit so physical physical fitness is, plays a big role in my chess career does chess take away your time for studies chess is a never ending learning process and it's quite a big study so it takes a lot of time but then away from your academics about 3 to 4 hours every day i practice chess Okay so how's your daily schedule what time do you wake up and okay, say I get up at 7 o'clock then I would start chess at like 9 after everything 9 to maybe 1:30 then lunch then then I would study till like 5:30 6 maybe then of then I would go to play like table tennis soccer or whatever then I'd come back then I'd study a little more then then i'll do a little chess before sleeping like playing online and then i would go to sleep pray and go to sleep so do you have any other hobbies other than chess table tennis badminton soccer all are quite fun do you play any instrument yeah violin i'm i'm preparing for my grade 5 examination wow so you have to actually manage between getting really good at chess and then practicing for grade 5 violin yeah i enjoy the violin so it's quite easy Who are your favorite chess players? Those from the past and who are still playing now? I like Tigran Petroshan, 
as I mentioned, his book and Capablanca, then Fisher, Karpov, all of these are great world champions. And from the present, I like Kramnik, Vladimir Kramnik and Magnus Carlsen, who, now, are, who are also world champions. Okay. I'm really amazed by you. So that's why I want to ask you, did you ever lose like any time in a chess game? Like not before you beat your sister, like after like you overcome that challenge, did you ever lose after that? There are a lot better players than me. So it's I'm still going up. So, of course, I have lost quite a bit. Okay, so when you lose, what goes in your mind? Do you feel sad and depressed? If my opponent just played better than me and he was just he is just a better player, then then I wouldn't be that disappointed. I tried my best. I played a good game. He played better than me. So, yeah, I can't complain there. But if I was a better player and... I played a good game and then I just made a, a very bad move, a blunder. Then I would be really depressed. You feel bad for yourself, yeah. like how could you have done that? Yeah. It's happened to all chess players, it's a natural thing. Now our world is getting to technology, right? You agree? Yeah. Yeah, so do you like the mobile application for chess or you prefer the chess board? No, I prefer the chess board. And for analyzing how I had I have to use computers like there are special engines for chess and they are they have surpassed humans already and uh, it's good for some complicated analysis and all they're quite good to use. So when you play against the computer, like do you what level do you select? Really hard? I prefer playing against human beings actually. Like the websites I play on, you can just play against uh, some other human being yeah, somewhere. Ac across the globe. Okay, so and you win most of those matches? Okay, I play fast matches like one minute each for each player or three minutes each without any gain of time per move. And it's, yeah, it's a random thing like you win and you lose. So about this game chess, can you tell me where it's originated from? It actually originated in India during the rule of kings and like that. And they used to play. They love, they love the game also. And that's how it started basically. And then it continued to all across the globe. Yeah. Which side do you like more, the black or the white? Both actually fine. I like both, black and white. It doesn't make a big difference to me actually. Like when you go for a chess tournament, you choose which side you want or... No, there's a special pairing system. There are different pairing systems. The main one is called Swiss Manager, like that, something like that. And you get mostly one, uh, like first game black, then white, black, alternate, like. Okay. Mainly alternate, yeah. So you get an alternate, but then you don't get to choose. No, you don't get to choose that. That, um, uh, that uh, Swiss Manager, that decides what who gets what color and who plays against who. Now, do you know about this eight queens puzzle? Yeah, it's quite a famous puzzle actually and I've solved it before. You've solved it before? Yeah. Like, how does it work? What, like, what is the puzzle and then... You have to keep eight queens on a board without stalemating a, the opponent king. Stalemate is when that, when the opponent king, alone king, cannot move anywhere it's restricted by the opponent pieces. It's called stalemate. Then the game ends in a draw. Both okay. players get half point each. Nobody wins. Has that ever happened to you? It draws happen quite a, quite often. Okay. And what is this a uh, pass on move in chess? Okay, it's a special rule in chess where a pawn is at a starting square. The opponent pawn is at the adjacent file and a uh, one rank a space like between the pawn and when the pawn on the starting square moves twice the other pawn can kill it in such a way that that pawn moves and this pawn comes diagonally so it's a special rule in chess basically do you use it often if it's good for me to do that then i would do it how many chairs are there on a square board on a chess board 64 squares. 64 squares. What interests you the most about chess? Like any particular thing that shines out? Everything about chess is nice. I like everything. Now I have this situation. So if you're in a situation where you can kill the opponent's queen, 
but you know that the opponent's next move can kill your queen. What would you do? Would you go ahead and kill the opponent's queen? I would first assess the situation with the queens on the board. Then I would assess it with uh, queens off and see if that's good for me. And based on that, I would uh, take my decision. Okay. Can you talk about your other hobbies? Okay, table tennis. I I like it. My I play with my father sometimes, very rarely. Mainly with my sister, which I obviously now started defeating quite often. <laughs> and soccer also and badminton. Yeah, I I don't play badminton that often because don't get that much time. But table tennis is quite good because. But you play at us. school? No, actually, in in my complex, they have a club also, a table. Are you good at table tennis? Like, have you reached state level, or just a hobby? It's just a hobby. And do you defeat everyone in your complex? Okay, I don't play with everybody. Just my sister. They play outdoor games like football or cricket or something like that. And did you ever tell your sister that you're inside, like inside? You just wanted to beat her and nothing else. No, I didn't tell. I just said, uh, "Can we play a game? I want to beat you." Like. <laughs> But I didn't explain my real intentions, to <laughs> and it was quite boring. Then after I started losing every time, then I decided to just get better once and for all, and then defeat her, and, and then, then claim to the whole world. That instead I'm, of getting better, you've reached an international level. Yeah, just not your sister, but then international level. That's a great achievement. Mm, yeah. How do you feel about it? It does not make a big impact on me. I'm just continuing with. So I like the love. game. I'm working hard and pursuing my passion. And about soccer, you play at school? No, actually, I just go to school in Chennai for my studies. So soccer and things like that are just hobbies for me. So I play with my sister. So then, how is your year divided? Like, when do you go to Chennai and then when? Okay, I go to Chennai off and on. Like when I go there, I go once in tw- uh, two months, like for. Uh, one to one coaching otherwise sometimes camps would be held and uh, at those points of uh, those times i would go and uh, go to school and study at the other times of the year i would be at home spending quality time with my family or at tournaments of course which is majority of the year <laughs> majority of the year you go for tournaments mini tournaments or like these m- major tournaments okay like there are nine rounds in a tournament mostly 9 rounds sometimes 10 or 11 but mostly 9 and that would be like 7 days two rounds in one day because one game like can take 6 hours maybe so that's quite a lot of brain drain which chess piece uh, chess piece do you think is designed the most well like looks really nice okay for elite players they get wooden pieces played on a wooden board which is a digital board so that you can watch the games online so there are special boards otherwise i like the knight because it's designed quite nicely for a wooden piece it looks like it has the most details yeah and then which rule do you like the most about chess like which limits like you've seen the other opponent not do anything to you because of that rule Okay, actually, there's no such rule. All rules are quite unique in their own. Sense. Like the knight, you can't move it unless it's an L shape, like in a. An... Yeah, pieces can move in their specific ways. Like when rules are created, like queen can move like a rook and like a queen, like a bishop and like a rook, and like a king also. So that's why it's the strongest piece. It can move like three different pieces. Have you ever been in a situation where your king's alone and then you have nothing else to do but to just keep on moving around? Yeah, when um, I have a king and my opponent as a king, it's just a draw. Okay. Nobody can capture each other. Or if I have a king and he has pieces, then I just have to move and wait for him to get, wait for him to capture. How did your sister take it? Like you beating her and then going all the way to an international level? No, like she started, then I saw the uh, chess set, the pieces. Then I like the suddenly I I don't know how, but I just like the game, and then I decide I wanted to play it somebody. So I, I wanted to play it my sister. How many um, chess international chess tournaments have you played? I've played quite a few of them. 
age category and open tournaments. Mostly nowadays I'm playing open tournaments because they help in my experience and it's good to play against older guys rather than my same age category guys. Well then how do open tournaments actually work? Okay, the same Swiss manager style and there are many players, quite a few, maybe more than 100 and each player gets a point for winning a game, half a point for drawing a game and nothing for losing a game. So whoever gets the highest number of points at the end of the tournament wins the tournament. If there are like more than one guy on same number of points, then they have a special tie break system, which is quite complicated. And they do that and that's how they decide. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, it has uh, happened quite often actually, for each category, category events mainly. So, um, is chess played in a team? Sometimes teams, mostly individually. In team events, they have like different things you must follow. Like, suppose your team is winning and you have a winning position, but it's quite complicated. You just can take a draw because your team is winning anyways and save that energy for the next game. So, yeah, you have to do different things in team events. Can you tell me, like, what is the m major thing that you learned out of chess? Like, one thing that you learned? Okay, the major thing is it has built my concentration, my focus, my ability to make decisions and, yeah, that's my major thing learned. Well, there you go, viewers. We have heard from a young chess player. So I'm sure we will have more visitors like Leon. Thank you so much, Leon, for spending time at our CCR TV studio. Welcome.